Well, teen pregnancy, it's a topic that initially might bring a sense of fear or regret or hopelessness, but the ministry Young Lives is working to flip that script and instead offer these young women a sense of hope, comfort, and peace. So joining me now to share more about the practical work that they do and how you can get involved is Natalie Bogle. Natalie, thank you so much for being here and thank you even more for the kingdom work that you are doing. This is a branch of the ministry Young Life, right? Yes. So let's first maybe talk about that group uh, and then kind of where the Young Lives ministry plays into that Absolutely, well. so those who don't know, Young Life is a ministry that's been in Huntsville since 1971 and we've really just been um, consistently just jumping in the lives with teens, right? Mm -hmm. So doing uh, life with them at their basketball games, at their lunches. Um, and Huntsville started praying really for the need of um, reaching pregnant teens because mm -hmm. it's such an epidemic and a lot of people really don't talk about it. Um, yeah. These girls are, you know, isolated and they sometimes isolate themselves. Um, and so we want to just do exactly what we do with Young Life um, and just do life with them, bring them out, let them know that they have a community that supports them, yeah. loves them. And Huntsville saw that need and, um, you know, they gave me the opportunity to kind of carry the torch. Yeah. So to praise say. God for yeah. that. And Natalie, again, we're so grateful for the work that you do again, because you mentioned it's, it's a hard topic and it can mm -hmm. be a taboo one. I think even more so sometimes, especially, and unfortunately in the Christian realm, right? So yeah. so grateful that you guys now have this program to welcome these young women with open yeah. arms. Let, let, let's talk about um, the practical work, you know, day to day basis. What does this group do and how are you guys helping these young women? Yeah. So we want to get into our Huntsville schools. That okay. is the main goal so that we can meet these kids um, and that we can just create a presence to let them know that we're there, right? And that they have um, a support group that loves them and cares about them regardless of where they are, what their life looks like. Um, because a lot of moms, like I said, they isolate themselves and yeah. so we'll even go into schools and um, administrators are even just unaware that they even have teen um, mm. um, moms or dads and um, once we create a presence it's really you know, phenomenal to see these teens kind of come out um, and seek that community because yeah. of the isolation that they are doing and sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it's not sometimes um, you know, they're, they're having to work and they're having to go to school and they're trying to keep up with yeah. all the things. And so that could be why they're isolating and others it's because of the awful things that, you know, the stigmas that are put on them and the shame that they bring. Um, and, you know, we just want to remove that. We want to remove all of those things because um, these teens are loved just like any other teen and they Absolutely. need the support and they need the community behind them. Um, and we, we want to provide them a place where they can get together and be teenagers and be moms, have people love on their babies um, and really share the love of Jesus, show them yeah. what that looks like. Yeah. Um, really, I always want to make sure that they're never feeling alone. That's our main goal. Um, just to, just like Young Life, do life with them every single day. Um, and really that's our that's our main goal. Our ministry is relationships. Yeah. And so we just want to build those. And I love again that you just said, do life with them, right? Yeah. And that doesn't mean do life until this gets messy or right. like until like, yeah. oh, you've done this, so I'm not doing life with you anymore. It's like, no, I'm doing life with you in yeah. highs and lows and in you know these seasons that seem confusing, but will bring mm -hmm. joy in the end. One thing I too want to ask about Natalie, um, uh, just kind of as we wrap up here, mm -hmm. we want to point out that you guys are with them, uh, not only during the pregnancy, but even mm -hmm. after, I think there are opportunities, yeah. you know, for mother and mm -hmm. child, even as they navigate that, what do those opportunities look like? Yeah, so we want to help them navigate. We want them to stay in school. We want to help them navigate going to school after high school. We want to support them and all of their needs, you know, if they yeah. have trouble, you know, new parenting is, is tough. And so we for want, anybody, much, yeah. even more yeah, so. It was tough team, for me, right? you yeah. know, yeah. in my 30s. So um, we want to support them and we want to help them in any ways that we can. Um, so again, that they don't feel alone. It's really hard to navigate, like I said, even as an adult. So we want to help yeah. um, kind of lead the way and again, just support them on an everyday basis. And maybe that has nothing to do with childcare. Maybe it just has to do sure. with life, right? And so um, really that's our goal. Like I said, it's all about building relationships and creating community so that they know no matter what they're supported they're loved um, and that you know we can break off any of those lies and feelings of shame yeah. um, and we can just breathe life into them and show them you know that there's a God of the universe that just loves them Absolutely unconditionally so. Um, that's our main goal. I love know? it. Oh, Natalie, I feel so much life being given just through <laughs> you in this conversation. Thank you for coming on. For people who want to get involved, what does that look like? Where can we learn more? I mean, I'm sure there are people right now thinking, you know, I want to help or to a, maybe a teen girl who
who's watching right now and is yeah, scared. Any final I words? would love to encourage the community of Huntsville to get involved. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. You can reach out to us um, on both of those outlets and um, just shoot us a message and we'll get back with you because we're always going to be in need of volunteers that want to, you know, walk side by side with these um, teens and um, any teen mom. If you're feeling isolated, alone, yeah. um, reach out because we love you. We care about you and um, we want you to know that um, you're loved unconditionally. Absolutely so. Yeah. Natalie, thank you again so much. It's Thanks beautiful for work that me. you do and we're honored to be able to highlight that here on the show. So thank you. We appreciate thank you. it. All right.